Hello everyone, this is uh, Darko2012 with Global Government News, reading an article uh, re called Retired U.S. General Promises an Airline Will Be Down Within 100 Days. There's also uh, a video down here I'm going to get to. I'm just going to read this really quick. A retired U.S. general has called for strip searches of all Muslim men at airports and threat-based profiling, declaring that, quote, in the next 30 to 100 days, there is a, quote, very high probability a U.S. airliner will come down. Retired, Lugen Retired Lieutenant General Thomas uh, McKerney made the comments on Fox News broadcast over the weekend. We've got to go more than just the normal process that they're talking about, he said on Saturday. We've got to go very, very strict uh, with screening, and we've got to use profiling. And I mean... Be very, very serious about the profiling. If you're an 18 to 28 year old Muslim man, then you're going to be strip searched. If we don't do that, there's a very high probability that we're going to lose an airliner. As the Fox host pointed out, the racial profiling would likely not be well received in the United States. McKerney replied, I agree, that's the problem. It's not racial profiling, he added, it's profiling just like the Israelis do. Let's use the same procedure that the Israelis do. If you if you lose 300 Americans, and then people are going to say, why didn't we do this, said the general. So here we go. Check out this video. Because I believe in the next 30 to 120 days, there is a danger, a very high probability, that a U.S. airliner will come down because of one of these uh, bombers. And so we've got to go to more than just the normal process that they're talking about now, we have got to go to very, very strict screening, and we have to use profiling. And I mean be very serious and harsh about the profiling. If you are an 18 to 28-year-old Muslim man, then you should be strip searched. And if we don't do that, there's a very high probability we're going to lose an airliner. That's a bit strong, though. I mean, it, it really, it, racial profiling, first of all, it, is extremely controversial, and it would be essentially singling out people because of a religious group, um, because of an ethical background. It, it, that, that's just not going to go over. I, I mean, not in this country Julie, anyway. I, I, I agree. That's, that's the problem. But if you lose 300 Americans and then people are going to say, why didn't we do this? The fact is, if that age group doesn't like it, then what are they doing to stop this jihad against the West. What is Saudi Arabia, the holy cities of Mecca and Medina, put, why aren't they putting out a fatwa that says this jihad against the West is an unholy well, war? Let, so they haven't carried their role in this particular problem, okay, challenge for me. I mean, God forbid we actually did that, okay? And, and we actually did profile every Muslim that tries to enter this country within a, within a certain age group, that would just, I would imagine, generate more violence and hatred toward the West. And what we're trying to do, or at least, my God, I hope we're trying to do, is make peace with those who hate our country. Obviously, uh, diplomatically, that's not working. Uh, you know, the president says that he is making it a priority to strengthen our partnership with the Yemeni government to work together and strike al-Qaeda terrorists. Let's talk Talk about what we can do realistically here, okay? We're literally throwing money at the problem. We've doubled our aid this year to $67 million. The president just approved the release of Gitmo detainees back to Yemen, who are very likely to rejoin terror cells there. President Bush did it two years ago, and, well, they joined al-Qaeda leadership. So we're, we're, we're repeating the mistakes of the past. Let's try to correct the mistakes of the past, not make the same ones. Racial profiling, not necessarily, I don't think, a solution, but then again, I'm not a government official. Yeah, well, first of all, it's not racial profiling. It is profiling just like the Israelis do. Let's use the same procedures that the Israelis do in El Al. Let's not let those 91 Gitmo prisoners, Yemenis, that are supposed to go back to Yemen, let's not release them. Right. As you pointed out, two are now the leaders over there. Yep. Last month, in December of 2009, they released six more. Will they become new leaders? So there are a number of things that we can do. I do not want a racial profile. I want to profile on that group that we have enough evidence from 9-11 and other cases, Musawi, uh, etc., that uh, we know what we're looking at. They are using an ideology, not a religion. 
That's certainly not a religion that says you can kill innocent people, Julie. This is an ideology. We need to challenge that. If we be continue to become politically correct, then we're going to have to have a disaster. And that's all I want our viewers to understand. We are looking at an imminent disaster if we don't take some very harsh and very realistic decisions, just like, as I say, the Israelis do, and they've been extremely successful with El Al. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tom McInerney, uh, Lieutenant General. Thank you very much for coming. And just finishing up here, McInerney is currently chairman of the Iran Policy Committee's advisor, Advisory uh, Council and co-author of the interestingly titled book, Endgame, The Blueprint for Vo Victory in the War on Terror. In the book, the general calls for the invasion of North Korea and Saudi Arabia as well as Syria reclaimed Saddam Hussein had hit weapons of mass destruction. The general's comments preceded the Transportation Security Administration's announcement of enhanced screening procedures at U.S. airports with foreign travelers from terror-prone countries. So um, that's pretty much it, everybody. Thanks for uh, checking this out. Leave your comments, uh, what you think about uh, this profiling, whether it's going to be... Uh, uh, successful in uh, preventing this imminent attack because we're just so free over here in America people just want to attack us because they hate us because we're so free and they're so oppressed so uh, just let me know what you think